Hello. We often get questions from companies about how to document and transfer their API program's knowledge across distributed teams. Enter the API Playbook. The API Playbook is a living document that guides the overall direction of your API program. When we consider the digital value chain, every aspect is an integral part of the API Playbook. For example, how to ensure your APIs are secure? What processes will you have in place to connect your backend services to your applications? And how will you engage your community and customers to ensure your API program is successful? These questions and others all need to be answered. The playbook describes your approach to API management as a whole. It includes the essential standards that all APIs must follow for an organization, the best practices for designing APIs in a common and consumer-friendly fashion, and the essential ways of working for API-producing teams to produce quality APIs at speed and scale. Your playbook should focus on six key areas. Your organization, best practices, API design decisions, development requirements, API management and deployment processes, and overall support guidelines. This should be a living document derived from industry best practices and best of all, experience of people inside your company. Here's a condensed summary of various items that will appear in a playbook. Every business is unique, and as a result, every API playbook is also unique to that business. Let's take a closer look at the core topics and what information you may find in each section. In this section, APIs in your organization explains how API governance, ownership, and federation works. It's important to stress who and how APIs will be managed, as well as what types of APIs are in your organization, as well as what API teams and roles should be and what they do. Your guideline and guiding principle to follow here is, as you move towards a comprehensive API program, you should have an API first mandate from leadership. Direct your digital product owners and API teams to own their APIs and leverage a common infrastructure with common design patterns that flow throughout the entire organization. Successful APIs require more than good technology. You'll need to ensure your team is equipped with the right people and processes. Traditional development processes or waterfall project management simply doesn't work when a team has to respond to opportunities, feedback, or problems quickly. This section covers best practices for organization using agile development for APIs. Outline your software development lifecycle, how your teams will maintain quality assurance, and what strategies you'll focus on for mocking your data, and how all of these ways of working might be automated. Your guiding principle here is simple. Successful teams are agile, nimble, and leverage automation. At a large enterprise, many different lines of businesses and API teams will be producing APIs. And it's a slippery slope of discordant design if we don't all follow the similar guidelines. This section details the important aspects of your API design and helps to guide a consistent look and feel and function of all the APIs in your catalog. Your, your guiding principle, your API should be designed as products with an outside in view, allowing developers and consumers to easily read and understand your data. In the development section of your API playbook, document how you will facilitate security as well as other patterns and policies which are required in the enterprise. Provide guidance on how user authentication will be managed as well as any other policies for logging, transformation, or orchestration. These are often mandatory development guidelines regardless of what the functionality the API exposes. Your guiding principle here is to provide reusable shared flows, assets, and other patterns designed to help your API teams go to market faster. In this section, we detail the configurations necessary for a successful pathway to production. It should outline each step of your continuous integration and delivery process and the tools used. Furthermore, it should list each environment and what that environment is used for. You can also include lists of analytics reports that will help support auditing, governance, marketing, and ongoing development. You should also include steps to prepare technical and non-technical documentation for the developer portal. Your guiding principle here is to your software development lifecycle should be tightly coupled with continuous integration 
and delivery tools that manage your APIs from coding to deployment to monitoring and analysis. In your support section, explain how your developer portal will be used and managed. Discuss how you will support your community with documentation around FAQs, troubleshooting, support steps, and resources you might make available to them. Investing the time to create a good resource and support workflows will pay dividends when it comes to both your customers and your own organization's time. Your guiding principle, your consumers and cust are your customers, and a good customer experience is a critical factor for building useful APIs. A thriving community will ultimately help your API program to grow and become successful. Hopefully, you now have a solid outline to build your first API playbook. If you want more information, please check out the community for ebooks, articles, and other related topics. Thank you for watching.